He can't breathe. <laughs> Heart rate spiking, setting at 88%. Get him on oxygen. Got it. <laughs> My breath sounds diminished on the left. <laughs> Give me the ultrasound. Yes, doctor. <laughs> okay. Why don't we wait outside, okay? Left side's full of fluid. Let's give him four morphine and two of her set. We need to get in a chest tube now. Lidocaine. are coming up. He's stabilizing. April, let's get a blood sample for cultures. And Doris, when you finish taping the tube in place, get that pus off the wall before environmental services has a fit. Someone help my son! Somebody help my son! He's having a seizure. April, push to a bad man. On it, to a bad man. Burning up. We need to get him upstairs for a head CT now. Yes, April, let's move. Okay, here we go. What is happening to my son? Ma'am, I promise you, we're gonna find out. Ryan has an infection in his brain. It's called a subdural abscess. He contracted an infection, and as it spread, a small collection of pus was walled off inside his brain. How does this happen? We're hoping you might be able to help us answer that. Mrs. Potter, can you think of anywhere Ryan may have been exposed to a fungus or a parasite? Did Ryan go camping? Possibly swimming in a lake or river? No, nothing like that. Any dental work? We haven't been to the dentist in ages. Never. It's too expensive. Severe tooth decay on the left posteriors. Small abrasion on the surface of the gums could have allowed bacteria to enter the bloodstream and travel to his brain. Am I gonna be okay? We'll start you on antibiotics, but you'll likely need surgery to drain the abscess. I'll get you a referral for an oral surgeon. How could this happen? He never even complained of a toothache. Don't blame my mom. She didn't know. It was just a toothache. I shouldn't have kept it a secret. Just a toothache. Can't imagine how much that hurt. She's always worried about money. I didn't want to worry her more. It's my fault. No. You did what you thought was best. 